Hi guys, Andrada here. Today I will show you how to set up the feedback incoming button in Hotjar. So after you're logged in and you can see the dashboard, on the left um, side of the menu you go to uh, the feedback section and then you click on incoming. Here we have a big green button, you click on it, the new feedback widget. And then there are six simple steps um, for you to uh, build the new feedback widget. First of all, you have to name the feedback button. Uh, I will just call it simply feedback. Uh, then you click on next. The second step is the appearance. You can choose the language of the, um, of the feedback. You can choose the position on the page, uh, middle, there are four positions uh, available, middle right, middle left, bottom right, and bottom left. As you can see, in the moment you click on um, each position, the button already moves and you can see how it would uh, look like. Then you have the reaction styles. There are a couple of styles that are avail available. So you have to, you can choose from um, whatever you, you want, either with the emoticons or with the stars. I will go with this one for now. Then you have the color. You can choose uh, the exact color of the, um, uh, grim the Grimpest Green or whatever uh, color you feel like to have. Then you have the light or dark, which refers to how it looks like the, um, the feedback, how it's written, and this um, little branding. You can choose it to be either light or dark. Yeah, I'm going to go for light this time. And you also have the option to uh, hide the Hajar branding, which is this small little uh, face, which will disappear. <laughs> Next. The third step is um, to setting up the questions and to choose which of them you want to show up. So the first one is um, about the uh, rating. The question is how would you rate your experience? If you choose another question, make sure this is translated or you translate it correctly. You also have the option to automatically include a screenshot with user's feedback. Uh, then it's the email request question, which you can um, enable or disable. I will leave it enabled this time. Um, and here it's written, we may wish to follow up, enter your email if you're happy for us to contact you. Again, this message is editable. You can say, uh, you can write uh, something else if you want. Um, and then there's a space to, for the thank you message. Uh, it's, this one is just a simple message. Thank you for sharing your feedback with us. You can also um, choose to ask the respondents to give their consent to connect the feedback to data stored about them. This is uh, important exactly for this reason, because in this way, um, the tool will be able to connect the feedback to data stored about them from other uh, type of um, feedback, for example, polls. And you also have the option to show the legals, the site's legal name and privacy policy link. Um, next step is the targeting. Here is where you want the um, feedback widget to show up. I will leave selected uh, all the three uh, devices, desktop, tablets and phones. You then have the option to collect uh, feedback on the following pages. I will um, set up to collect the feedback on pages I specify and I want for example to um, the feedback button to be installed on the story pages, on the story posts. So then I uh, select here URL starts with and then I add the, um, the first part of the URL. Okay, show the widget to the following users, all users. I want all users which arrive on any of the uh, story posts to be shown the feedback button. Um, here you also have the uh, option to select the percentage of visitors that will be asked for feedback. So for example, if you only want for half of the uh, users, you just move this um, along the space and you uh, set it up to 50%. I will leave it to 100 right now. Next step um, is the forward uh, feedbacks. 
Here you can set up to um, forward the feedback, which includes an email to a person in, uh, in your team. So for example, if um, visitors leave their uh, email in the feedback they submit, you can automatically set it up that uh, piece of feedback to be automatically forwarded to someone else in the team. I will untick this uh, one this time. Going to the next step, the last one, uh, the sixth step is to review and activate the button and I will um, switch it to start incoming feedback. And here you can see the status, I will make it active. And let's see if it's displayed. And if for the time being, as you can see, the um, feedback button is not showing up on the story page pages. And this happens because I have uh, another poll set up on these pages. So what um, you do in this situation, you just open the polls, you deactivate to make inactive. So you can see test release post. Uh, I will make this one inactive. And then um, my feedback button is um, active already. So when we go back and hit refresh, in a couple of seconds, my feedback button should show up. And as you can see, here is the feedback button. This is how the feedback button uh, looks like. And this is the experience the, the visitor will have. So let's say he's rating that he is loving it. He can say, well, I love your website. It's such a lovely one, such a great website. Okay, um, then he also have the option to um, select a specific piece of the, um, from the page, a specific paragraph or anything they want. Um, and this will be attached as a screenshot. Then he can leave your email. I don't want to leave my email, so I'm going to skip it. And then he has the thank you for sharing um, uh, your feedback with us. If you want to see responses, you simply click on this green button, view responses. And here you have um, the responses. If you, you can see the comment and the rating already. And if you click on it, you will see exactly what the screenshot was and some other details like on what page. Uh, you also see the country right now, but we will deactivate this option. Uh, here it's left blank because I didn't leave an email uh, for contact. So this, is, this space is left blank. And then you have some details about the session, like how much time did it took and from what type of uh, device. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, see you soon.